Okay, the chiller. Now, I have an old chiller, bless you, that I've been using for a while. If you have the Tradewinds chiller, you are incredibly lucky. This is incredibly easy. If you don't and have a drop-in chiller like mine, I'm going to show you what I've had to do to kind of get it to work. But even the Tradewinds, you have coils. Those go in the water and get cold. Uh, you have the chiller box, and you have the temperature sensor, which I'm going to show you where it plugs in, where the sensor goes. Now, the very first thing I have to do to get mine up so it's not at such an angle in the tank, I built this box. Lots of open holes so air can circulate around it. But I built this to get it up a little bit off the ground so the angle is not so bad that it actually breaks this because this is pretty fragile. Okay, I have the chiller up a good 8 inches, 10 inches maybe. And I'm going to zip tie this to the top. If you can kind of see, you don't want this really to bend at such an extreme angle. So I'm going to go about like that, zip tie it, and then bring it over the top. It's going to make my lid kind of funny, but this is the way that I found that works really, really well. There's the back of the chiller coming up, zip tied, and you just kind of make it work. I have it zip tied to that. Zip tied here. Really, you just don't want this black part to be in the water. I've got a couple of inches, uh, maybe half an inch. And you don't want the coils to be out of the water. So when you change the water, usually in a 55 gallon tank, the water might be down to here. So I still got some room. And that's the coil, setting up the coil. Next, the temperature sensor. All right, this is a temperature sensor for the chiller. I have it on the opposite side of the intake. I don't know that that's really important, but that's how I like to do it. So the cold water here, it'll be, the, the, my coil is kind of here, so I like the water to flow to the coil. Again, trade winds, if you have that, it'll be much, much better, much easier for you. So the temperature sensor, and here's my temperature sensor too for the digital one, which by the way, you're going to use this when you get your eggs to temper them. I haven't even turned it on yet. Um, so the temperature sensor goes into this. You plug this in to the chiller. Uh, my chiller actually has a kind of a long cord, but you plug it in there. This part goes obviously to the power. And then you set it. Okay, right now it's 66, so it's going to kick on. We're going to make that a little noisier for our kids. Set. I like it in Fahrenheit, and I'll tell the kids that. I set it at 52 degrees. There's a little glare. There we go. 52. And then I just keep it at 2 degree differential. I don't know that it really matters, but that's what I like to do. Okay. This will show you the temperature, as well as your temperature gauge on the tank. But now, it's nice and open in the back, air will circulate, your chiller is done.